Hello, Suzanne here of Suzanne Gibbs Art, bringing you another sketchbook page turner. This one took me a while to fill. I started in November and I didn't finish it until February of 2022. Part of that was because in between I was making little sketchbooks and filling even tinier sketchbooks. So without, oh, um, of course the covers are covered in stickers because why not? Super fun. Great place to put stickers. And here we go. Sketchbook page turner. This was a road trip to Montana I took with my husband and I was drawing while he was driving. Actually really love how those pages turned out. This was more of an abstract Susannism type of a drawing. I usually use Uniball pen when I'm making my sketchbooks. In fact, almost always when I use this Canson paper, it just mm, makes me so happy to hear the scratch of the Uniball pen and the paper. Wow, this Uniball pen's almost out of ink. I just noticed that. Anyway, um, for some reason I thought, oh, I'll just pull out another pen, which is, where do I have it? Um, one of these, it's a Pentel Pilot pen that has, ah, you know what? It's my sketchbook, I can do what I want. It has a brush tip, and so you can do kind of messier lines. And as much as I'm glad that I picked up some other tool, I it's not my favorite. I just, Uniball, Canson paper, my favorite. Okay, let's move on. I did it a few times. Uh, COVID shot. Um, I believe this was for my booster. We all had to sit in our cars and didn't just get boosted from our car. If you've watched my videos before, you know I really love drawing faces, people, and um, things. This is a tool I use. Um, to actually file down my dog's toenails. Hand soap pump. Uh, essential oils. And then here we have it, one of those kind of abstract character Suzanne type drawings. These drawings often start by looking at someone else's work and I like maybe one aspect of what they did. For example, this artist um, put things kind of outside the face and, that also worked inside the face and I liked that aspect so I started with knowing I wanted to use that idea and the rest kind of came from the way that I draw um, which is very intuitively fluidly slow quiet thinking about my birthday back in February this was drawing from um, a tree outside my window and I just ended up never finishing, but it's got such a light, beautiful feel, I left it. This might be a birthday card that I'm designing someday. If you're familiar with Suzine, you might have seen this in Suzine and this one as well. And then I went drawing with a friend and tried to capture what the Nike bikes look, Nike bikes look like on the street. They're hard to draw, I had fun. Drew some bark on a tree during that drawing trip. That's my friend while she's drawing, while I'm drawing her. And again, I love drawing people, so I captured whoever was in the park when we were there that day. It was very cold out, but sunny, which was lovely. Then just, this was probably an abstract. Oh, I can see that I started with a Sunglass, uh, eyeglasses case, and then just went from there. I'm beginning to see buds on the bushes and stuff, and so I remember coming home from a walk and deciding to draw that. One of my kind of characters again. This shape of this heart is on it's in Danny Gregory's studio, and I see it often when I see him on here, the hearts are again. 
uh, when I see him on Zoom. And so it became a part of this drawing while I was listening to uh, something he was talking to us about. And then um, from drawing, from images, I drew some of the Olympics. I did not watch them on TV as I do not even have a TV. It was super fun to draw the shapes of these athletes. Went to a training. This is rare, but I ended up filling this page with collage. Uh, the more I do Suzine, the more I end up getting beautiful cards and stuff in the mail from people, and I don't want to throw out parts of it that really enchant me, so it's landing in my sketchbook. On my birthday, I had tons of fun riding from donut shop to donut shop and eating way too much sugar in one day, and I decided that needed to be in this sketchbook. Then an abstract drawing and a character drawing. I went to Paul's bookstore to get some ideas for my zine, and so I wrote down some of those ideas. And then, since I love drawing people, I drew lots of people while I was there. Um, there, it was pouring rain. Let me see if I can show you. So that that drawing ended up with raindrops on it while I was drawing outside. I love, love, love lettering and signs and drawing signs. So that landed in here. And then just some abstract drawings of combining ideas from other artists that I either see on Instagram or magazines I have and combining elements of other people's drawings into something of my own. I think this happened on the day I heard about the Russian-Ukrainian war starting. All right. Thank you so much for viewing.